Yo, what is good, Fry Nation? The Texas Chainsaw game revealed new gameplay details at the Mad Monster panel, along with some other cool announcements, so let's check it out. Over on Twitter, the team released a photo of a meat factory. This confirms the slaughterhouse as the third and final playable map. They say that there will only be three maps at launch, the other two being the family house and gas station from the 1974 movie, which as of right now is the only film they have the licensing to. But they also mentioned they're working on getting a license for the other movies as well. Some gameplay mechanics for Survivor were talked about as well as how a match actually starts. So the match will begin with the survivors having already encountered the slaughter family. So already you are beat up and not at all in fighting condition. Essentially you start the match in a very vulnerable state where running away is the smarter idea if you want to survive. As you know by now we will not be able to kill any of the family members and fighting back is more or less a last resort option. Judging by the recent teaser image we know that stealth will play a big role due to the slaughterhouse safety tips on the right. Stating to be silent turn off the lights and stay in the shadows. Which I like that they're pushing the whole your role is teenager, you run bitch. On the killer side of things, they mentioned that each killer has unique abilities as well as weaknesses. They didn't say too much obviously, but even as killer, it's better to strategize and work as a team if you want to actually win the match. Something else I thought was really cool is that we're getting motion capture work from the actress who played Laurie Strode in the Rob Zombie Halloween film. Shouts out to Cave House studios he's the reason we got this beautiful news today eventually gun will release the tcm panel footage but yeah it's been fun boys